TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading up 590. NASDAQ is up 250. S&Ps are up uh, 68. That's a gain, folks, inside the uh, Dow Jones of 1.7%, 1.75 in the NASDAQ, and 1.67 and the S&Ps. Gold. Gold contract flat, 18.09 an ounce. We have silver down 14 cents, $24.97 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, $67.42 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year down one tick, 134.21. The 30-year off 21 at 165.14. Now, that being said, um, the, the note and bond market just finished an ABC structure on the way up, and it was powerful, man. There's no two ways about that. Yeah, the 10-year, I'll get all the way to 135.07. I'll get the exact number, but I think that was almost at the exact number. It had blown its B point away yesterday with spades. I'll have that by the time I get on the air. King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? King Dollar's still hanging tough, man. King Dollar looks like it's going to go up to this March 31st high. Uh, bottom line is that we got up to 93.170 today. The high is 93.437. The low is 92.989. Now, what gets interesting here is that we're at 92.969. And what did I just say? 9.89. So that would be a failure there. You know, it's what really wild, man. Markets like to go, especially if you have wide bars, they like to go to the bottoms of those bars or the tops of those bars. So we'll see if that shakes out. That's how it is. And if you're a council charting or candlestick charting, folks, that's a... A doji, and they love to get, well, yeah, it's a doji, not a shooting star, but dojis like to get tested also. Gold. Well, let's go to the GDX, actually, because the, G, the gold stocks themselves, man, they've been selling them off every day. Uh, bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out. We got into the price point of the GDX at 33.81. Didn't hold price. You're at 33.11. Bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out. But that's saying it wants to test the lows of yesterday, which is going to be 32.87 again. If we look at the NDX 100, now this is going to get really cool watching this shake out because this is what you have. The market yesterday saved itself right at the close too, man. Right at the close, what they end up doing is getting inside. The Q's got inside 354.42. Now, that being said, what you are doing right now is that you're going up with tremendously lighter volume. And the market always gives you like three shots to get out of the market. So this is going to get intriguing as to how we test these highs again. Bottom line, I think we're going to test them. The real kicker is going to be, as we get into the 362, uh, what kind of volume we're going to have. Come right back, folks. <laughs>